Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fallen YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. How are you guys doing today? We are out here at the Freedom Factory and we're doing a little something different today. I think I'm gonna call it the Freedom Games, okay? So as you guys know, we are on a quest to bring you guys the best content ever. And we've been working super hard this month, the month of freedom, to keep that up every day. We're posting every day this month. Well, as you guys saw earlier this week, I posted that we're doing a $1,500 car challenge. So if you didn't see that video, let me explain something to you really quick. Behind me is a car that I purchased on a budget of $1,500. So I actually bought the car by itself for a thousand bucks, this 94 Z28 Camaro. I spent $175 on these drag radials, used drag radials. I spent $250 on a nitrous system that has about a 70 horsepower shot of nitrous under it. And then I spent the residual, like, I don't know, 20 some dollars on uh, octane booster. So brother and some sea foam. So this thing is tuned up, ready to rip. And I am excited to be racing against my two best buddies today, Cooper and James, who have also purchased cars. Now Cooper and James have seen my car, but I have not seen what they have bought. I've only heard a lot of trash talking and uh, apparently they're, <laughs> apparently they have gotten the best deals to ever exist, which is basically what every Florida man says, that they got the best deal ever. It's a really good deal for the car. I think it's gonna be a good buy. According to the internet, they should run, you know, like a 14 second quarter mile pass, which is fast for a stock car, so. So there, as you can see there on the bill of sale, $1,200 out of my $1,500 budget. So I'm going to end up with $300 left to see if this thing needs anything. Repairs, one of those nitrous kits off of the, uh, you know, off of one of the Crown Vicks for 250, and then he also has something too that that you'll you guys will see here that little bonus. So, two turbos, a wastegate, and a front mount. So, in that $1,200, I got extra horsepower with the car. So, I got to talk with the boys and see if I'm allowed to obtain one of these and use it on top of maybe you know putting a value on it like the nitrous kits and whatnot. And uh, we'll see what we can do. They have this three-inch filter that'll fit on that tube that's already on the car. It's three inch inlet. It is $16. Got myself an oil change and a fresh set of spark plugs. Still under budget and I'll still have room to buy one of the one of the nitrous kits. Spence, see some good stuff? You know, I think that might be the unit. Is that's, that the winner? That's actually a pretty good car right there. Cause they came with the Honda J series V6. All wheel drive. <laughs> It's been a minute since I really on some stick shift stuff. Dude, AC is blowing cold. Ripping cold. <laughs> Holy hell, turn it down. What is that? I turned the stereo on. <laughs> he said it goes up with the throttle. Yeah. You happy with it? I'm sold, yeah. You think you're going to buy it, huh? Yeah. I think, I think it's a good move. Did you do the deed? Dang, brother. I wanna explain the layout for the Freedom Games. We're gonna be doing three challenges. That is one, drag strip, quarter mile racing, two, oval track, right here at the Freedom Factory, fastest lap. Three, we're gonna be hitting the off-road track and doing a barrel race down, around a barrel, and back. We think they're three pretty fun ideas and uh, we're excited to see who's got the best car. All right, guys, James is about to come over the hill into the Freedom Factory and this guy's been talking so much smack. Honestly, it's hard not to be the most concerned about James because you don't know what he has under his sleeve. He could have bought a really nice car that just needed a head gasket or something because he would stay up all night and do it. So, is that his car right now? What is that? Dude, that's a... Not sure what that sound is. Oh, dude, here he comes. 
What? He bought that for a thousand bucks? 1500 bucks? Dude, I, th I did think he was gonna have more of a race car, but uh, maybe he's got something under his sleeve. Dude. All right, all right, let's see what James is up to here. Dude, it's a spec V. <laughs> Dude, hey, uh, is this your car? Did you buy a non-American car? Dude, this is my roots right here, buddy. <laughs> Nissan. Nissan Sentra. Yeah. Spec SCR v. Spec V. <laughs> Dude, you brought this to race today, or you drive? Dude, I brought this to gap that thing. Dude, I am in a good spot here. Let's it's go. gonna be like this the whole time out in front. Here we have my chosen budget race car. Not to be confused with my other budget black Nissan race car, both factory spec rippers. I have here a 2006 Nissan Sentra SCR spec V Fremo brake package, true ripper. Bought this car for $1,200, tag title out the door left me room to equip it with nitrous kit. I did a tune-up, oil change, and bought an air filter for $46 at Advanced Auto Parts. Ended up putting me with like $7 left to buy lunch today, which is awesome because I am hungry. And uh, show you around, it's got brand new tires equipped, one purchased, brand new radiator equipped when purchased. Already had a race header on it with a cat delete, so it is uh, ready to go today. And you know, I'm not too worried about it uh, surviving today, but if it does quit on me because of the nitrous, I'm going to be stuck in that dud back there, the cobalt. Okay, mileage? 160. Uh, price? $1,200. Plus 250 for the nitrous kit? Yeah. I didn't have to buy a used one because I stocked that stuff in inventory. Yeah. But you got, a, you got a little bit of a, and then you did a tune up? I did plugs and an oil change just because. And how much was that? Forty-three dollars. Okay, so you're at hundred. You're at. I'm at you're at about. I'm at like fourteen. So I got like seven bucks and change left to buy some. Seven dollars left. Okay. Dude, not not a bad car. Dude, these things are a hidden gem. So. Oh, you got a lot of tires. They're brand new. <laughs> Dude, what an absolute <laughs> shredder. These things here, two point five liter four cylinder. Really? Big big motor, bigger than any Honda. Makes more power than a Honda and is a lighter car than any Honda. Oh, wow. You know? Is that an aftermarket valve cover, dude? No, that's stock. That's stock? They look that cool? Yeah. Right. Nice looking unit. It came with a header with a cat delete. Oh, I see. It had cold air intake parts with it. Only thing I had to buy was a filter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see these, the nitrous kit back here. These that looks things nice. are born rippers. Dude, dude this. Okay, not a bad car. I will say I was a little thrown off that you didn't show up in an American Muscle V8 with nitrous, but you, you got the biggest one. four cylinder. You can't buy one that's fast enough for twelve hundred dollars, brother. You can't I don't compete. Know. You can't compete. I don't know. That right there, good. Hey, can I show you a couple things I did to mine really quick before we get Coop in here? Okay. Yeah. What you did, dude? Nitrous system is installed, but here's the deal. Look at this. But you store the button right here. Custom. You gotta hold the button in the car. What if you let go by accident? If you let go, that's bad. I should probably zip tie this in. Okay, all right, I'll think about that. Thank you. Uh, I got my freaking nitrous line ran, tied into my windshield wipers, which is super effective. They still work. Hit the windshield wiper. Yep, see that? Still functional. Okay. Okay. See you in here. Uh, nitrous goes right here. I went pre-math. I'm thinking if I went before the mass airflow, hopefully it doesn't trip it out too much, and it actually adds fuel. I don't want to melt the things, the straps off my spark plugs. You know, that could be bad. Pull that dipstick out, or it'll push itself out. That's transmission dipstick. It doesn't have an O-ring. It comes out on its own. Okay. Um, other than that, though, I got my drag radials on. I got my FF logos, so I'm feeling pretty good. Okay. All right, let's get Coop in here and see what we got. Yeah, still not worried. You lost sleep. Camaro. Brembo brakes. Import. Okay, Brembo brakes are cool, but I don't think I'm going to run out of brakes in this thing. I'm going to be on the throttle. You got to be able to go fast enough to need big brakes. Okay, I for sure got the drag race a win. Oval track, easy. 
The only thing that could beat me in is the dirt. I, I'm not even gonna put my radials on the front. Okay. If that's what bold, you brought. Okay. Bold, bold move. All right, let's see bold, what uh, let's see what James May brought. <laughs> I don't know. We just heard a little reveling reaction. Sounds like a fellow uh, four cylinder. Sounds bone stock. Sounds like a four banger. Sounds stock. Means I'm in good shape. We got two four cylinders, brother. Y'all should have tried. What's the power to weight ratio on your unit, dude? Well, it's making about 800 horsepower. It weighs about 3,200 pounds, so you do the math. And then you woke up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, two four cylinders. This is. I mean, not, not to fluff any statistics, but 15 horsepower for every one pound of vehicle. Dude. One horsepower for every 15 I was going to say, damn. 15 to one ratio. 15 to 1? Yeah. How much power does this make? That may be 190. Okay, that's just false. It definitely makes 190. Dude, if you, if I'm dealing honest, 250. I got a horsepower per 13 pounds. Another one up. No, that's... You're, you're not making isn't that a better ratio? You're not making 250. Dude, I'm making 250. Are you crazy? I got a 75 shot of nitrous on this thing. Oh, that's NA I'm talking. I didn't do the math with my nitrous. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did I hear a little turbo chip chirp back there? I think I was just a metal. Okay. <laughs> I was like, really? Like I was like, you fine. got a turbo car? All right, let's see. Is it stick? Sounded like you might be stick. All right, Cooper Spaghetti rolling in. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was gonna he have a, to, a he wagon. Came, he came to one thing, he came to win the dirt. Damn, dude. He came to win the dirt, all wheel drive. Let's check this unit out, dude. This is the most Cooper vehicle I could have imagined. Dude, aftermarket wheels. Hood scoop. Damn, big Subaru guy, huh? <laughs> big Subaru guy. Freaking Outback, huh? Off-road guy. Well, this here is a pristine 98 Subaru Outback. Uh, designed for Australians, built by the Japanese, mainly driven by tree huggers, but we're gonna be out here putting it against a couple of these fellow ricers today. But I have good tires for obvious my, my all-wheel drive capabilities. It's pristine inside and out, and I really have them fingers crossed that I can drive it after, because it gets double the gas mileage of everything else I have. And that's pretty much the ins and outs of your 98 here, if you want to take, here, take a look. It's pretty much the main feature is the interior. Under the hood has one of them flat boxers that tend to break, but we're not gonna talk about that today. I'm not gonna curse it. This car, was $1,350, sadly, with tax, and I paid extra for the title, which I didn't have to. It put me a smidge over the $1,500, but I got it anyways. Uh, I, broke, I broke the price budget, <laughs> but I, I saw it and I kind of had to have it. It's one of those things. Wow. Well, <laughs> I didn't want the people at the local mud hole knowing that I brought a Subaru. Uh. <laughs> they get offended when you. Dude, what's this color called? It's uh, it's Mako blue. Mako blue. What do we got? Uh, yeah. any it's mods motorized. under this thing? Or? It has a sticker of some tuning company. So. So there's a chance it's tuned. It's a chance it's tuned. Subaru Performance Tuning. Yeah, tuned for one. The trailer hedge. <laughs> it's got a damn trailer hedge, dude. Just take, just open a door and look at how nice this thing is. Okay, I'll take a look. You'll be like, wow. Can I drive this thing when you're done with it? Dang. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> Untouched from 98. Wow. Dude, yeah. what an absolute unit you've Free purchased here, Cooper. Machine. I will say they cleaned it pretty well. Mine was not as clean as this. No, yours, you have a disease for sure. Yeah, you can actually catch something in mine. All right. James, you got yourself an SC, SER. Spec V, bro, don't forget the Spec V. V. Wow. Let's just take a gander under Coop's hood here. Are you just gonna open a man's hood like that without even consent? Okay, big boxer guy. Bone stock, dude. Yeah, bone stock, dude. Are you just trying to, uh, 
spectate the, the drag race? Well, or? all of a sudden it started to have this idle issue too. I didn't know if maybe that's a normal Subaru thing. Just swap the plugs on it real quick. No. <laughs> I'll take five minutes on these. You want to race? <laughs> we can swap them faster? <laughs> oh yeah, I'd, I'd definitely lose that. <laughs> so how much power do you think this thing puts down? Um, well, it was supposed to put down like 160 from factory. I'd say maybe 80 now. Okay, so yeah, about 80 horsepower. Hey, James is about 50 horsepower and I'm about 300. I'm like 20 per tire. Dude, you guys really came out here today. I'm excited, I'm fired up, dude. It's about to go down. So first thing, nice. first things first, boys, we're going drag racing. Never seen someone so excited to take an L. Let's go racing. <laughs> dude, you're crazy, James. I got this. We hope you don't mind, but we're breaking this into a two-part video. And the reason for that is, as you can imagine, we've already spent $4,500 on the cars, plus we're paying for a production to make this a really, really cool episode. So tonight at 7 p.m., we'll be back and you guys will see the racing. The reason for that, we figured we'd double down on the video to generate a little bit more revenue. Should be a blast, but we got some racing to do for now. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.